Mr. Powell. Uh, Mr. Powell wants some discussion regarding the Lambs County Retirement Plan. Mr. Powell. This has kind of been an ongoing discussion of mine that we've talked about several times, but I think we need a review uh, of our pension plan, how, it, how it's funded and what the parameters are for it. And if we need to look at going to, instead of 100% pension-based plan, to a modified pension. And, and I know, Stephanie, it's not a 401k, but what is it for government employees? I'm sorry? 357. Okay, a 357 program that is like a, it, it's comparable to a 401 yeah. 457. You find benefits and you have to find contributions. Okay. Uh, about 18% uh, of uh, uh, private sector is defined benefit, and about 85% of the government is defined. Uh, there's the defined uh, benefit is pretty much uh, automatic. You set it in motion, and the process continues to work. Uh, but with the defined contribution, have to monitor and work on that program a little bit more. And the, the employees would augment that cost. The 457 that you're referring to is a um, sort of an ancillary savings type program. It's capped just like an IRA would be on the amount that an employee can contribute to that every year. Right. So whenever HR talks to the employees about planning for retirement, and they do do a lot in that area, um, they talk about the importance of diversity. So the retirement plan itself versus the 457 or two different products that really complement each other. So we encourage employees to participate in both. Um, I think one of the things that we've looked at is the value in our current plan, of course, as our employee base begins to age and in the next 10 to 15 years, we're going to have a significant number of employees that will be eligible for retirement. Right. <clears throat> Your contribution that's required per employee continues to increase every year closer you get to that. Um, what we thought the Harris is about was possibly looking at a defined contribution or the county would pay a portion of the employee be responsible for a portion of that contribution for new employees. Right. Um, and you can also write into that depending on how you want to. Employees who are not vested in the county's program and currently it takes two years to vest, they may choose to go with the new program um, because they would have some control and some flexibility to contribute more if they wanted to. Um, and then, you know, let, let the current system take care of itself. You would be looking still, though, at a 20 to 30 year financial impact on what the county's current contribution is um, to split with that system. Sure. So right. I think that that would be long term in that planning, but it's definitely something that we have to think about. Well, I think it needs to be shorter term in the planning, but it's going to be longer term. I understand this is not going to affect any any existing employees, this will only be for new employees once we determine what we want to do. And they won't see an impact for 20, 25, 30 years. I, I understand that, but I, I think the conversations need to be short term on what we're going to do, even though they're going to not really create an impact for the county on savings and opportunity for 20, 25, 30 years. I think Mr. Powell was saying that he doesn't want our grandkids to pick up a newspaper and see that Lowndes County's broke because this commission would address the retirement benefit. The average age of your employee right now is about 47 years. Okay, so do we have a consensus as well to move forward with this discussion? Yes. Instruct staff to get us the information. Would we classify that long term, short term? I think I think it's a short term conversation uh, for next retreat <coughs> with a long term impact. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, so, but I, I don't want to drag this thing out three years to come up with a yeah, short-term goal to look right. at it, right. at least resolve. All right. Consensus is then we'll put it on the short-term call. But I understand, and, and I do realize, I think all the commission realizes that anything we do in this will not affect any existing employee. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, also...